Regular decision applicants to the Dartmouth class of 2024 were admitted in March of 2020. Same month that saw the start of an unprecedented global pandemic. This means that the class of 2024's freshman year, this culturally important transition to independent college life, was flipped on its head. It was isolating, it was lonely. Four of our classmates passed away in just one year. Three of them were suicide. As a member of the class of 2024 who was not on campus during that time, I was interested to see how exactly the mental health of students deteriorated enough for suicide to become this commonplace. And because I thought this was a story that was worth preserving and worth learning from, I decided I'd make it as a documentary. My research consisted of making a comprehensive local and national timeline of events, making a list of people of interest for me to interview, reaching out to them, and renting the proper equipment I'm gonna to use to film my interviews in B-roll. I ended up successfully doing interviews with 35 subjects. These were people in various leadership positions at the college reflecting on their decisions, some professors who spoke to their areas of expertise showing the teacher's side, and finally students, most of whom were in the class of 2024, speaking about the impact of these decisions on their daily lives and mental health. My biggest challenge, then, was boiling down these 18 hours of interviews into small complimentary snippets, incorporating them into the wider context of tens of hours of outside footage, and writing an original soundtrack that served as the backdrop to a 90 minute long story that is entertaining enough to hold the viewer's attention, but also educates them on the current mental state of my generation following the pandemic. So what did I learn from this? Well, it seems very clear to me that the effects of the isolation are still ongoing and will be with us for quite some time. This documentary serves as a cautionary tale that showcases the importance of in-person interaction, but also as a celebration of Dartmouth's traditions, our new commitment to supporting mental health, and most of all, a celebration of the students whose lives were cut short.